Hello and welcome. This is our newest arrival, a good solid 16 valve from Japan. And this is some of the electronics removed from the engine bay. After removing the alarm, the turbo timer and uh, all the wired in electronics, I've wanted to get the car running again. Using a Berliner Sportivo wiring diagram, I made a drawing of the ECU plug with a note where every connection went. We fitted a standard coil, then Dave and me traced the continuity of every connection, but we could get no spark. A second fuel pump relay had been fitted, switched by the original. I removed this and linked in the original grey wire. These are the heater compartment fuses. I had numbered them as per the wiring diagram, 55 being the injector relay and 56 is the fuel pump relay. With ignition on, Power is sent to the relay 55. The contacts are then closed and power goes to 56. When the ECU chooses, it earths the circuit from relay 56, which closes those contacts and powers the fuel pump. Now, this relay turns out to be faulty. Uh, if this relay doesn't work, nothing will work and the car won't start. So I tested the output contacts and you can see that there's no life. So I have another relay which I'll fit. You can see that there's life at all the contacts. The power goes down the green wire to the fuel pump relay. The green and white wire goes to the ECU and when it chooses the ECU will earth that end, the, its end of that wire and close the relay contacts powering the fuel pump. I'm earthing the ECU tag here uh, I'm making a circuit and I can hear the fuel pump working as I uh, as I tap the contact I checked the ignition switch wiring. That's it right there, that's what we're looking for. So that wiring there, that's the wipers, so we're not worried about that. That's the winkers uh, and the light wires and that is what happens when you use scotch blocks on your on your wiring. This car was actually full of them. So there we are, that's what we're after in there. I'm just checking we're getting a good live input from the battery. Uh, which we are, so we can proceed to the next stage. which is the ECU and its plug. Now I wanted to know every contact and which pin was the live power input. So I had my diagram and I could test it. So we're getting juice in.
Next, I wanted to test the output from the fuel pump relay solenoid that the ECU sends to Earth. So I counted along. Uh, I got there in the end. And there's the power from the fuel pump relay. I was happy with all the results, so I fitted the ECU plug back in. But I wasn't happy with the earth leads, uh, it was a bit shady, so I replaced the spade clip, which did turn out to be broken. I replaced the spade clip with some proper fittings. One last check, but with the ignition on, there was no EI light on the dash. And I was hoping my efforts would fix this. It did. These little cars will either go or not go. So let's see if all we've done has worked. Baby go. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.